and here we are out for a walk again and I don't know if you can hear it or see it but it's actually just starting to rain and I come out my t-shirt so I'm gonna get wet I'm just uh, sheltering under a tree for now and there's not much to report really except for the fact that we found a small duck pond that was about a mile away that I didn't know existed so um, since Bonnie likes to swim or paddle rather because he can't swim yet we took him there along with two other dogs we've um, seen who knew the way and uh, well let's go and see what happened so I'll put it on now and we'll come back later on how excited did he get? Big jump. Oh, it's too far for him. Come on, Bonnie, get in there. It's a bit too far for him, I think, to uh, jump down. He wants to, but he's not sure. Yeah, so as you can see, as I dash from tree to tree to try and stay out of the rain, um, Bonnie didn't go in the water. He was a bit too scared to jump in. From that high pier. I don't blame him because it's uh, not a very deep water and he can't swim yet and uh, obviously he wanted to but he was a bit too scared I think so I've been racking my brains to find a nice safe little pond where he can paddle about and maybe learn to swim which isn't full of pollution or broken bottles or whatever and uh, yeah so I've been trying to find a little pond that's safe and not too deep that Bonnie can uh, have a little paddle in and learn to swim and uh, there aren't too many around because most of them are either too big or too busy or perhaps they're full of pollution and uh, broken glass and god knows what else but i think i found one it's about three miles away which means what about a six mile walk for barney which is quite a long way for him um so we're going to give that a go in the next uh, few days or at least when it stops raining anyway so i'm out of breath because i've been running with this one here although not really running but jogging i guess so i'm shattered but he's fine and um we're not too far now from our destination which is a little pond just up here which he's not been to before so uh, we'll see how he gets on and here we are it's not quite what I expected it's obviously got a hell of a lot of green on there a lot of bloom <laughs> Bonnie wants to be there he's got to put me in Bonnie come in oh, Bonnie come in well that didn't go too well did it I just uh, slipped over as he pulled me in and uh, hurt my finger not that he cares he's actually exploring in all the mud See if we can fix some, uh, see if we can find some ducks to chase. And there he is. Oops, it's a bit deep for him. He's not sure. He's gonna try somewhere else. Oh, it's a bit deep. He wants to go over there where the ducks are, but he's not sure yet. It's a little bit too deep for him, so it's coming back. And now he's gone somewhere a little bit shallower. There he is there for the trees. Let's go and follow him. And as usual, he's looking for something to chew on. He's just found a little packet there, I think. And I bet you he'll come back with a stick, as he always does. And here he is, as expected, he's looking for sticks. And it didn't take him long to get covered in mud. It's just a pity, it, so uh, covered in this, well, whatever it is. And what Bonnie really wants to do is go over there, where there are some little ducks and grebes and some young ones as well. And he is fascinated by them. And he really wants to go and say hello. Bonnie, what's that? Oh, he's going. And as usual, he's found something to chew on, he's found something to retrieve. So we'll pack it something, a bit of wood. But actually it's interesting here, let's see how deep it is. Uh, there's a wooden, oh, hang on, it's not too bad actually, it's about, what, a foot deep? Something like that. But Barney still wants to go over there. But he's a bit too scared yet to jump in when he doesn't know how deep it might be. And 
No, it's not brave enough yet to uh, risk jumping in. You're letting your side down, lad. You're a golden retriever. You should like jumping in water. And he really wants to go over there, but I think that might be something for another day when he's a bit more confident and a bit older. So he's not learned to swim yet, but um, he's had a good time, which is what counts. So I think we need to get him and uh, we'll head for home. It's still a good hour away. And when we get back, I'll have the time to tree outside and uh, get him nice and clean. And then no doubt he'll sleep the rest of the afternoon. So uh, I'll call him back now and we'll get him home. And now here we are, back home again. And Barney's been cleaned, washed and had his dinner. And now he's very, very tired, I think. Just like I am after all that running around. And uh, as it turns out, I've lost a nail when he pulled me in. I almost uh, went in the pond after him when I slipped in all that mud. Uh, but I'll survive. And now I think he, Barney here, will be going to sleep quite soon. So we'll end it there. So thanks for watching and cheers.